Hello? What's going on, Kendra? I can't see your face, boo. You getting situated? Yeah, I'm getting right for you. Okay. How are you? Good. What's your name, boo? Uh, Sean, how you doing? Sean. Sean, where are you calling us from? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. How old are you? Just turned 34. 34. You have any kids? Uh, one daughter. One daughter. What's mm -hmm. your birthday or age range? I mean, excuse me. What's your birthday or zodiac sign? Taurus. Taurus. Keep moving. Huh? You shaped like a football player. Former NFL. I used to play in the NFL. What team? Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, New York Giants. Okay. How many years you played? Four, two in Canada. All right. What's up? This is hey, Sean. You alum, right? I did. You went to Hampton too? Got my PhD at Hampton. That's what's up. Yep. I went to Hampton University. Okay. This is Sean in Cleveland, Ohio, NFL. You used to play in the NFL. What do you do now? I'm retired. So you just not, so you retired from the NFL? You're not doing anything else? I actually do land acquisition right now. So you check my page out. I buy a lot okay. of land. Currently land working acquisition. On do you have any kids? I have a daughter. She just turned five on the 11th this month. Oh, you told me. Five years old. Your daughter? Mm hmm Why are you not with the mom? Uh, we kind of see, we can't, we see differently on like uh, visions of our future and careers, so. Okay, so you couldn't see eye to eye. But y'all cope mm -hmm. here well? Uh, we're getting better. Communication is getting better. Okay. So this is Sean located in Cleveland, Ohio. He's retired from the NFL but does land acquisitions now. 34, has one daughter, is a tourist. What kind of woman are you looking for, boo? Uh, more entrepreneurial, you know, go-getter. Um, I'm not looking forward to my wife working, so that's cool with me if she wants to not work. If she wants to, that's cool, too. So I uh, kind of want to build a brand between the both of us. Uh, more outdoorsy. I'm outdoorsy. I'm currently building an uh, outdoor um, Airbnb in Dallas. So that should be opening in the next 12 months. So I like someone who's hands-on, who don't mind getting dirty, stuff like that. So. <coughs> so you want someone, so you're saying you don't want your wife to work? I don't. Okay. So what's some deal breakers for you? Um, a lot of ratchetness. Uh, I'm, a, I'm more of a homebody. Um, big on education, more spiritual. Um, I look forward to having more kids. I let her have five boys. That's one of my goals. So I, I, I want my wife to be more of a stay-at-home wife than she wants to be again. Okay, so you're being honest. You want a woman that you want to have. You want to be a stay-at-home wife. You'll take care of all the bills, all of that. Of course, yeah. Cause she have kids already? She can. Uh, I would like to have her if she had one baby father, but, you know, I'm not opposed to that at all. Okay. What's the age range you desire? Um, 25 to 38. 25 to 38. So she mm -hmm. got to be in Cleveland, Ohio? Uh, I, I move around a lot. So I own, I own land in a lot of different states. So I'm always on the go. So I'm currently in Ohio just visiting for this for the holiday. I'll be back in Dallas, Fort Worth area uh, Monday. Okay. Um, does a woman got to look a certain way? Uh, I like to be in the gym. You know, my football background, um, athletic. Um, I want, like I said, I want boys. So I would like an athletic stature. But, you know, I'm all about going to the gym with her, you know. Okay. So you're saying if she's not athletic, you can help her become athletic. Oh, for sure, yeah. Okay, so money doesn't matter to you because you want her to retire. So you don't care about her money. Yeah, I want us to build together, you know, so as long as we're working on a business together. Um, I got a lot of business ventures. I have a trucking company as well. So I, I got a lot going on. So I'm looking for a partner, a teammate. And I know so I want her to be, Okay, fair enough. So you want her to join into the things you already are doing. Oh, I got quite a few things for sure. Okay. All right, this is Sean. They like you. This is Sean Cleveland, Ohio, 34. He is... Um, has a one-year-old daughter that's five, right? I'm big on the outdoors, though. No, I, you got to get dirty. All right. So he likes to be outdoors. So you're not a girl that doesn't like to hike and be outside. Uh, fishing and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm actually working on building a, a lake right now. So I like going fishing and hunting. So You're going to build that. your own lake to fish I in? Have it, it's named after my daughter. It's a, 
It's called Roses Estates. You gotta check my page though. Yeah, I have it. It'll be open on August first. Wow. Okay, that's big. That's big. Um, he's a retired NFL player, but he does late acquisitions and a lot of other things now. He wants more kids. Doesn't care what you make. When was your last relationship, Sean? Two months ago. Two months ago. Why did it end? I'm curious. Young. I tried something different. Young. How young was he? Twenty three. Oh, that was too young for you? Yeah, yeah. It was just lack of communication. She was still trying to live her best life, which I respect. So I really didn't want to force her. I knew that going into the relationship. So I was just open mind with it. She really wasn't there. So I didn't want to force her, you know, take away her her youth and what she wanted to do. So we just respectfully went our different ways. Respectfully went your different ways. All right. So why do you think you – oh, I almost forgot. But I kind of want you to answer this question. When was the last time you was intimate with a woman? You don't have to answer it, though. Her on my birthday. Her on your birthday. And your mm -hmm. birthday was when? 20th of April. Okay. All right. So you've been over a month. I was celibate two years prior to that, so. Oh, wow. So why why was you celibate? I wanted to, I wanted, I was focused on me and my wife. I expressed that sentiment to her. So, you know, it was, the vibe was amazing in the beginning. And then things started to unfold. And it was what it was. So uh, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. All right, fair enough. So, sure. Why do you think you're single now? Well, I, I say again, your phone got, went out. Oh, my bad. My phone's dying. I got pretty big expectations. Um, so I'm learning to be able to you know the uh, not not hold people to such a high standard. So I'm just trying, you know, more learn about myself. I'm still healing in a lot of different ways myself. So um, I want a woman that's gonna be on her A game. Because uh, I, I like to think that I am on mine. So you got to let's let the master energy. Okay. He wants a woman that's going to be on her A. I game. work. A, I, so I work. I work a lot. I apologize. I work nonstop. So come from a very, Would you make very, some type very, of adjustments? Will you make I, some type I, of adjustments I, when you get I to? I have to. I've reached a financial status where I feel like I can kind of throttle back. But it was never about the money. It's just being from poverty. I just always just been go 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 so i gotta learn to enjoy the steps in between so i'm, I'm learning that you know and I, I i look for a woman to actually help me with that okay all right fair enough so why would a woman be lucky to be with you i think i'm all around from um the chivalry standpoint my granddad rest his soul he got me together with that early you know making sure my woman is straight um making sure my family is straight i'm big on family my daughter, she's well taken care of. Like she's pretty set for life. So I look forward to having more kids and uh, working that hard just for them and her. So hopefully I can meet somebody that we can kind of, you know, make that happen. Okay, I like you. This is Sean at Cleveland, Ohio, 34. He has one daughter, a uh, former NFL player. Now he has other entities he's focusing on. Looking for a teammate. That's the biggest thing. He wants a woman he could teammate with in life. He has a lot of plans. He would like someone that could join him in the plans that he has created. Not interested in you working. You could be a stay-at-home mom. He likes to have, wants to have a big family. 25 to 38 of those are your desires, too. Let's I'm do six, it. Six, the... How tall I am. I'm six foot six. Six foot six. For those, I was going to get to that when I hung up with you. I can always right. tell when I got new people watching the show, and the rule here is I don't ask guys their height. Like, I don't ask women their weight. Now, listen, I could start asking men they height, but I, if I do, I'm going to ask women their weight because that's what men want to know. Y'all mm. always know you get the person's <laughs> contact page. You can DM them. You can ask those questions. You actually ex exceed and above the height they like. You know, six feet and higher is what every woman desires most of the time. So like tall, you're fine. I like tall women, too. So. Oh, he likes tall you know, women, too. You can wear your heels if you're tall, you know. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. He said he likes tall women too. So all my tall girls, this could be a guy for you. I think you're a good catch. I love that you were able to be celibate for two years. That means you showed control. Oh, I'm looking forward to getting back into that too, for real. I just, I'm big into fasting, celibacy, spirituality, you know, just mind clarity and just focusing on your goal and manifesting what you want to do. So I like, you gotta, I just want somebody that's positive, that's gonna be matching that energy and want to build something different, so. I'm trying to do something that a lot of my family wasn't able to do for the next generations of my kids. So 
that's just what I've been really been focused on. I love it. A man with a plan. Looking for a queen now. Are you a queen? Because this could be your king. Give them your IG name. Uh, Dr. Witten, D-R dot W-I-T-T-E-N. And yep. like, hit me on there. I make my page on private. I see a lot of people saying it's private, so I make it well, on private. You can do that if you want to, but there's a lot of women that have private pages that come on the show, so don't feel forced <laughs> to do that. I know people huh? like to. I know people like to snoop, so I ain't got nothing to hide. All right, he's gonna make his page on private for you nosy women. It's <laughs> Doctor so D R dot W I T T E N. All right, mm -hmm. Sean and Cleveland. Oh, does a woman gotta be in Cleveland? She don't. I, I like. Like I said, I have land literally in like nine or ten states, so I'm. I'm only in Cleveland right now, checking on this property, and I'll be back in Dallas on Monday. Where do you live primarily? Huh? Where do you live primarily? I, wherever my wife is gonna be at. I mean, that really. I, I'm looking for somebody to settle me down because I'm, I'm young. I'm somewhat young, and I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm in Atlanta this week, Georgia, Florida. So wherever the wind blows and my properties take me, that's where I'm at. So I'm not opposed to settling down and having a homestead and working around that. So for sure. All right. Let's see what it does. Okay, Sean. He said he wants to settle down. He's going to live wherever his wife lives. You have oh, all the right words today. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, I think you're pretty dope. Keep me posted how it goes. They're going to flood you. So just get that. ready. Thank you for having me. I've been, I've been trying right. for a while. Well, I'm happy you finally made it. Thank you. Bye, baby. Baby. So, uh, somebody say Kendra doesn't listen. Bitch, I didn't talk to, I'm on two hours of talking to people. Sometimes I'm going to have to repeat a question. You know, I think people don't understand that there'll be a lot going on. I'm trying to read the comments, see if y'all have a question, and I'm listening and writing things down. So, yes. I might repeat a question if I forgot the answer and I didn't write it down. It's okay. You can hear it twice. Then you can know the answer twice if you heard it the first time. It's okay.